My name is Nicole, and I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2000. Actually, it was relapsing, remitting with multiple sclerosis. Now, when it comes and goes, kind of, sort of, where you have these relapses and remissions. Um, now, I've kind of progressed to the next degree of it, because they call it secondary progressive, where I have a big drop in my baseline, and I just hang out around there. Um, I remember when I first got diagnosed, um, I lived a rather normal life. Nobody really knew I had MS, except for my close friends and people that I opted to tell. Um, but I went to this um, outdoor festival kind of thing one day in Louisiana, where I live, and I ran into a high school friend. And we saw each other, and we were laughing and talking, and I was in a wheelchair, and neither one of us said anything to each other. Because it was awkward. And like I said, um, at first people didn't know I had it. And I just didn't know how to say it. And Because a lot of times people don't know what MS is. And so I hope, I'm hoping that I'm going to help spread the word and help people know what it is. And yes, we're here. And maybe in the general population and no one knows kind of thing. And I think what makes it so hard is that MS looks so different in everybody. Like for me, my symptoms, when they started, like I said, they were pretty much, you didn't see them. But now they're completely, totally opposite. I had to stop working. Um, now I can't drive. Just, I can't exercise. Well, not like I used to. I used to run like five miles at a time, but there's no more of that. And I can't work. And I get these brain fogs, which means I, I like to describe it as walking through a cloud. And it's just like my brain is a cloud. Like I, I lose my train of thought easily. But like I might do today, right now with you. That's why I have my little outline right here that I'm supposed to be, that you'll see me looking at. Because to keep myself on point. But you know what? Our normal everyday person does that as well. <laughs> That helps me to remember that not everything is because of a mess. I can't blame it on that. But I have problems with balance and fatigue. My husband once referred to me, um, I walk like I'm walking on a tightrope, but every day. And that's pretty much like it is, unless I'm using my walker. And speaking of my walker, I hate using it. But I need it so much. Um, and that makes me mad. And um, you know what? With 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 MS, we also get um, dizziness. I get dizziness a lot. They call it vertigo. And I just read that something you can do with vertigo is look at a light, and say sitting up straight and look at a light, and it'll help your brain know that where you are and that you're not, you know, moving around like you feel when you're drunk. That's another thing. I try to. Um, I, I try to stay aware of the fact that I look might be looking like I'm drunk when I'm not drunk. I just look that way. And every medicine I've been on, it's so um, now, well, I was on chemotherapy, and that was the pits. I was like, who opts to be on chemotherapy? So I'm not doing that anymore. I get muscle spasms. Um, often I'll be in bed and my leg will just pop up like that. It's very funny. Well, not funny, but it's odd. Um, I'm weak. There was a point when I got out of the hospital, I couldn't even lift my, my utensils. My mom, I had to go to the store and buy all baby size cups and things like that and plastic forks and stuff because I was too weak to even lift the fork up to eat. Can you believe that? And heat intolerance. I can't. The heat is hard on me, and I live in Louisiana. The heat is everywhere. It's hard. So a lot of times I just stay inside all day, and I just don't go outside because the heat is going to um, make my symptoms even worse. It aggravates MS. And um, That's all for now.
Thank you.